What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who's being there. Welcome to Who's Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we got book club Sundays. Even though it's a Monday, I know I'm dropping this episode late. Kind of had a little jam packed Sunday, but um, today we're gonna be covering "Getting Past No" by William Urry. Um, this is a book on negotiation, negotiating with difficult people. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So. Oh, this is another pretty good book on negotiation. Um, And it talks about negotiating from all standpoints, right? Like, you negotiate with everything that you do. You know, everything that you do, you negotiate. Whether you're negotiating with your wife, with your kids. Whether you're negotiating with your business partner. Whether you're negotiating with, you know, invest future investors. Whether you're negotiating for a, a promotion for your job. You know, it's all negotiation. You feel what I'm saying? And um, William uses some really great examples in the book in regards to the, the, you know, the right way to negotiate, you know, add value in a negotiation. You know what I'm saying? He used an example where a guy um, asked for a raise for his boss. You know what I'm saying? And um, in during the negotiation for that raise, he asked the boss like, hey, if I can, you know, increase overall company productivity and profitability could we use some of that profit to give me a raise you feel what i'm saying and the 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 you know the the manager was playing hardball the owner of the company was playing hardball you know and he you know he had to come back with his batna and a batna is the best the best alternative negotiable offer it's called a batna best alternative negotiable offer okay oh no not sorry not offer best alternative negotiable negotiable agreement the best alternative negotiable agreement is called a batna okay and that's just your what are you prepared to do what is the lowest you will take or what is the you know the the exit strategy or the plan that you have that that correlates with if it doesn't go exactly how you want in negotiations and for this particular um guy he had already looked up and had a job offer from another job that was offering to pay him what he wanted to get paid but he didn't want to leave but he was prepared to go if he had to so he had to let his manager know hey look i got another offer for another job that'll help me um in my situation right now because i'm paying for my kids tuition and just everything is up you know and i don't want to leave but i will you feel what i'm saying and that's when his manager went ahead and caved in was like you know i don't want to lose a good employee so he agreed to the you know the productivity raise like yeah let's find some more profit and then we can use some of that to give you a raise you know what i'm saying and that's because he had his batting already best alternative negotiable agreement okay best alternative negotiable agreement he had his batting already you know and that's just some of the gems that they giving away in this book like it's a really good book you know what i mean just in regards to negotiating in all forms you feel what i'm saying adding value to negotiations not being high-headed don't never lose your emotional sense in a negotiation some people negotiate they'll try to get you upset just to get you off of your game to be able to negotiate better terms with you so don't allow yourself to get upset always be calm you know and just continue to keep going man you know so y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about this book man this the god hoods being there big favor big abundance don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe this the god hoods being there big favor big abundance i'm gone